So you've been gallivanting all around the countryside, you've gone parts hunting, you've used manners like I told you to last time, you picked up all your nice cheap parts, you get home to put it together, now late at night of course, and you don't have any thermal compound. So it's the middle of the night, everywhere's closed. You can't exactly go get some from the local convenience store or the petrol station down the road because they're just not gonna have that kind of thing. So you go looking around the house for anything else you might be able to use, at least until the shops open again and you can get some. Because who wants to wait to try out this stuff? And just for the record, we have Core i3-2310 and what is this an asus pH61-ME motherboard not gonna lie this thing's not very happy one ram slot doesn't work half the time a dedicated graphics card doesn't work uh, for a little while it was reporting temps much higher than they actually were um, and besides that it's just well it doesn't really have a lot like it doesn't even have HDMI or USB 3 for that matter but for this it'll do Stock Intel cooler, which has been cleaned by the way. Four gig of DDR3, a 250 gig SATA hard drive, not an SSD, and a Thermaltake light power 600 watt. There's no thermal compound to be found anywhere. You can't go get new stuff right now, but you wanna try out your latest and greatest cutting edge technology purchases, or at least the stuff you got here in Australia. Ta-da! Vegemite. Now, okay, fine. If you're not from Australia, you might not have this. Although, I was thinking about this. Maybe you do. Maybe you've heard of this and you're like, what the heck is it? Is it really as bad as everyone says it is? So you've got some. You tried it, you really don't like it, so you've got some left over, right? Like, you probably don't have a jar like this. I really hope if you were just gonna try it, you don't have a jar like this, because as far as I understand, people outside Australia really don't like this all that much. I don't know what all the fuss is about, like, I love this stuff. I grew up on this stuff. As far as I understand and from what I've seen, the mistake that people make when trying this stuff is they open the jar like so, maybe with a little bit less noise. You get a big spoonful, or at least <clears throat> a spoonful. That'll do, right? And then just eat the stuff. And like, I'll be upfront with you. I've never tried it like this before. I've never eaten it like this before, but they tell me there's a first time for everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, nah, nah, if that was my first intro to it, ugh, I don't think I like it either. Yeah. Right, people, this is not how you eat Vegemite. Not with a spoon. The way that you eat Vegemite is like this. Toaster, bread, should probably use a plate. Butter or margarine, obviously, with a knife. As soon as it pops, put your butter or margarine on straight away while, ow, extremely hot. Done, look, see, hot, it's great. Followed straight away by not a lot, just a little bit, thin layer. Don't slap it and pile it on. Ta-da! Okay, it's not a work of art, but it's gonna taste a heck of a lot better than a spoonful. Like, ah, uh, yeah. That is how you should be eating Vegemite. That's enough of that. That was a little bit too good. Might have to make some more of that later. But, can you use this stuff as thermal compound? Now look, you're not gonna need a lot of this, only a little bit. By the way, this isn't real. This is just some stupid thing that the supermarkets have done over here. They've made miniatures of a bunch of different products. And apparently the country is going crazy for them. Personally, I don't see why. Just a little bit. And yes, we're back to the spoon, but we're not eating it this time. Ta-da! put the cooler on then plug it in and give it a go
So it cheated, I tested it with thermal compound first to get a base result. This system's been together for months and by together I mean it's been sitting like this on my desk over there. So it's not exactly new thermal compound and it's been used a little bit. The max temp that we saw was about 72, 73 degrees under load. But then taking that off, putting the Vegemite on, it didn't actually go all that badly. An hour and a half of testing, there was a bunch of five minute stress tests using the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Uh, there was one run of 3D Mark 2001 SE because old hardware onboard graphics, there was no way I was gonna try and make that run the latest 3D Mark. Uh, one run of Cinebench and yeah, it held up well for about, whoa, maybe an hour. Then after that, temps got up a little bit. Then taking the heatsink off, didn't look all that happy. And the weird thing is that it had drawn all the old thermal compound like through the fins that I couldn't get out. Somehow it drew all of that down onto the CPU. Um, it looked really weird and was really hard to clean off. But anyway, if you're in a bind, if you just need something temporary, it works. Long term, not recommended, eh? But if you just need to be able to run the system until you can get some new stuff tomorrow, over the weekend, after the weekend, whatever, you just wanna make sure all your hardware works straight away, fine. Mind you, it probably would have held up better too if, if I hadn't put it under so much load and hadn't been stress testing it. But it works and it's delicious if you do it the right way. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you liked what you saw, or even if you didn't, you know, show us your thumbs. And you can follow along on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As well as that, Mr. Scrapyard Techie and I are doing a retro gaming live stream every second Saturday, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we hope to see you there. Anyway, thanks. Bye.